In this lecture, I will show you how you can apply the torsional irregularity check on your building. So here is literally bit about torsional irregularity. So when uh, our one part of the building is more stiff and the other than the other part, then the building try to rotate. Then with doing so, the building have one side maximum deflection, the other has minimum deflection. In the, at the center, there will be average. The code says that if your maximum drift divided by every deviate drift is greater than or equal to 1.2, then it's a torsional irregularity. If your value is greater than 1.4, then it is a extreme irregularity. So here, according to ASC 716 code, here is torsional irregularity. Torsional irregularity is defined to exist where the maximum story drift computed including accidental torsion that is 0.055% accidental eccentricity we have considered in our ETABS model with e AX is equal to 1 at one end of the structure transferred to an axis is more than 1.2 times the average story drift at two ends of the structure means if the maximum story drift divided by every story drift is greater than 1.2 then it's a torsional irregularity if your uh, maximum story drift divided by every story drift is greater than 1.4 then it is a extreme torsional irregularity how to check the maximum and minimum story drift and then apply the torsional irregularity check in e tabs here in e tab i have run the analysis then you have to go in the analysis results then in the displacement in the dis in the displacement you have to click maximum slash average drifts okay when you click all the uh, drifts values maximum average and ratio uh, will be appeared we have to see our lateral against the lateral load cases for example at quick plus x okay then the diaphragm in the x direction okay so here are the story drift value maximum story drift average story drift and its ratio okay here i have selected all these values copy and then come back to your excel sheet here you have to put the values okay now the ratio is 1.04 which is less than 1.2 here if your value is less than 1.2 so it means our structure is regular similarly the it is also less than 1.4 so our extreme torsional irregularity check is also satisfied similarly i will perform in the negative x direction okay select all these values copy paste here here again the torsional irregularity check and the extreme torsional irregularity check is also satisfied now in the y direction plus y okay and in the y direction here again i will select all these columns these columns maximum drift average drift and ratio copy paste again in the y direction check is also satisfied So in the model which is I have model that is regular building mean is this building do not have any torsional irregularity. So let's suppose if uh, any building have torsional irregularity how to deal with it and how to calculate the torsional amplification factor that is here code says if your building have 
if your building have torsional irregularity then you have to also multiply the amplification factor torsional amplification factor uh, how to implement this uh, to the irregular structure i will show in the next lecture so that's all have a nice day